I would like to thank Americans for electing President Joe Biden, who has told me that yesterday was Trans Visibility Day. I have no idea that this happened. He has managed to open my eyes. I now see them. Before yesterday, I did not, but now I am fully aware. So I was also curious, what other holidays are there that I don't know of? So I did a little bit of thinking, I did a little, little bit of researching, and what surprised me is that over a quarter of the calendar has various celebrations, uh, with American origin especially, uh, that I was completely unaware so, for instance, did you guys know that on uh, February 19th all the way to February 25th, it's Aromantic Spectrum Awareness Week? Well, they're not doing a very good job because I wasn't aware about it. Like, come on, step up the effort, huh? Democrats. You need to take some of those American taxpayer money and give it to these activists so that they can raise the awareness. Like, look, they're, they, they dedicated that entire week, and yet they have failed to make me aware. I had to go out of my way in order to find it. Although you can make the argument that if I did find it, maybe they did their awareness campaign successfully. What do you guys think? Then on March the 21st to all the way to 25th, you get LGBTQIA+. Take into account that Justin Trudeau struggled to say this. Like This is difficult to pronounce. Uh, Health Awareness Week. Now you can tell that this is a more recent one. See, I, I can already start my own field of study into this. Like, like the how, how would you call it? The V's field of uh, American celebration. This, this is how I would uh, teach it at the university. And, and you, you can uh, take into account that this is more recent, right? Because it's LGBTQIA+. But you have the entire month of October dedicated to LGBT history, right? Like this is more vintage. This is more conservative. This is more classic. Because it, it says LGBT, but here it says LGBTQIA+. Right? This is more progressive. This is more fresh. It's for the modern audience. This, this is for the conservatives. Uh, then you have like the Transgender Day of Visibility, which uh, is uh, the one that Joe Biden opened my eye towards. And what's interesting about it is that I looked at the history of it. Apparently, it was coined by uh, this activist. Uh, who was uh, in a bit of a pickle. Like, they actually struggled to figure out that they were to put it so that it's not very close to the LGBT History Month and it's also not very close to Pride Month. See, I can understand the level of oppression that this person must have experienced uh, trying to put a celebration onto the calendar, but, but it's difficult because there's so many other celebrations that have the same theme, so... You're like, well, where can I put this exactly? Where, right? Like, what's difficult? Uh, day of silence. I genuinely do not know what this is, but I've been told that silence is violence. Uh, then you have uh, an interesting one. Harvey Milk Day. Like, I actually had to look into what this is. What is Harvey Milk Day? And apparently it was an activist for civil rights. Um... And I guess like they kind of sanctified him. Like, like I genuinely try to think if there is another day where you celebrate a politician. And, and the only thing that I could compare with my Eastern European knowledge is what the Orthodox calendar does to saints. Like, like for instance, uh, Saint John Baptiste. Like he was killed by um, one of the leaders there for his faith. And, uh, you know, they, they put his head on a platter, and, and the day that he was killed is now a red cross into the Orthodox calendar. So when it's the uh, head of John Baptiste Day, uh, you actually get to take a day off. It's a, it's a holy day, right? So I'm curious if uh, we're, we're witnessing the beginning of something similar. Hmm? Is, is this what... It, it, I'm trying to, like, understand the similarities. Like, like what exactly are you supposed to do in that day? So, like, do, do you get to take a day off, or... Uh, but anyway, you got the entire month of October, which is uh, LGBT History Month. And then you got the entire month of November, which is Trans Awareness Month. And then, of course, you get the Pride Month here. Um, and, and I'm thinking, like, if you're uh, an African-American person in the United States, and you only get, like, a, a, such a tiny month, you know, dedicated, just like a small month, <clears throat> aren't you a little bit jealous? Like, wouldn't you want more? Uh, and then you have, like, the National Coming Out Day, 
uh, Gender Fluid Visibility Week, Spirit Day, which uh, supports for LGBTQ plus youth, Intersex Awareness Day, right? So, so you have like all, all these awarenesses, um, which do not work very well because again, I, I did not know about them until I actually went out of my way to look for them. Uh, but, but what I find interesting is that if I want sexy female characters in a video game, right? I go on Twitter and I say that I like Stellar Blade or I like Nikkei. Immediately, I will get people accusing me of being a Kumer, of, of being uh, obsessed with pornography. Uh, and, and meanwhile, when I look at the mainstream, I see that uh, a quarter of the calendar is filled with stuff adjacent to the human sexuality, let's put it like this, right? Like an altar dedicated to human sexuality one way or another. And, and it's the same people that uh, are part of this ideology that accuse me of being a Khmer. Should I be ashamed? I, I mean, how, how should I feel about this? I, I don't know, because uh, again, you know, I come from Eastern Europe, we have a different culture, so... Most of these individuals are American of origin. And when they are trying to shame me, what should be my response? Like, like how should I feel? Huh? Like, they come with this huge, ginormous calendar. And they're like, ah, you like Stellar Blade. Shame on you. Can we get, like, a, a Stellar Blade awareness uh, a day? You know, not, not a month, heaven forbid. But, like, a day. Just, just a tiny day. Like, people who like Stellar Blade. And ironically, um, I saw a picture on Facebook. It was called Male Gaze Day. And, uh, you know, it just had the, a girl with big plump tits walking around and she had guns. Immediately got taken down for hate speech. And, and I understand, look, like this calendar is massive. Like, it, it, they're already struggling to add other dates. Like, they just don't have space for you. Like, there, there isn't any more room, right? Like, all, all of this. Takes a lot, so if you want to put your day in there, well, we're sorry. There's just no more room. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? Like, like, if they keep it up, they're going to have uh, something that rivals the Orthodox calendar. But but you got to give people days off. That That's that's how the Christians did it. Like, if you want to copy them, at least do it properly, right? So when you have, like, the Intersex Awareness Day, you got to give people a day off from school or, or a day off from work. And then they will know that, oh, that day is Intersex Awareness Day. Because if you don't do it like that, then they just won't know. And your awareness isn't very effective. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And of course, if you want to support the channel, there's a link into the pinned comment that can take you either to my Subscribestar or my Patreon. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys there. Take care.